The spinner rig is my go-to rig when fishing on the deck and it's caught me countless carp from all over the world. It's reliable, incredibly simple to set up and never ever lets me down. Here we have the business end. I've got a spinner rig or a Ronnie rig, depending on what you want to call it, on a helicopter rig with lead core. Now the reason this is so popular at the moment is because you can literally move that bead up the lead core and fish it on any bottom you like. If you're fishing on something very soft, you'd slide that no trace bead almost all the way up to the top of the lead core, which means that this hook link section will just land on top of any rubbish on the bottom and you'll be fishing no matter what. I've got about three foot of lead core, I suppose. Uh, any longer than that, and it won't cast very well. And any shorter than that, you haven't got the length to slide that bead up uh, if you're fishing on something very soft. On the bottom there, I've got a three and a half ounce lead. I'm not casting too far, but I like three and a half ounces just so I can fill the lead down really well on the bottom. And that's connected to a heli safe, which I've got set to drop the lead. There's a little bit of weed in here and a few snags. So I'd just rather be in direct contact with a fish when I get one. On the lead core, I've got a size 11 quick chain swivel that I've connected my hook link to. And over the top of that, I've just got a little section of an anti-tangle sleeve, just to neaten it all up and make sure that I don't get any weird tangles or anything up that end. I've got seven inches of 25 pound boom there that I've crimped a loop in either end and on the hook end I've crimped the swivel directly onto it and I've cut the ring off of the spinner swivel just so I haven't got so many metal items down that end just makes it a little bit neater really. Uh, I've put a little bit of putty as well over the crimp to counterbalance the pop-up big size 4 crank and it's being held on by a small hook bead. The pop-up itself is a 12mm pineapple and isotonic pop-up and I take these everywhere, they're my favourites really, but I know that on clear waters like this, pink and white work really well, so I'll certainly be having them on the other rods. Now this rig itself just does not tangle, it's very, very stiff, uh, and that's what gives you so much confidence when you cast out. I never ever cast out and think, mm, am I sitting with a tangled rig out there? I feel very confident with it, and that's why I use it all of the time. To tie the spinner rig, first take a length of boom material in 25 pounds. Then using the small crimp, crimp together a small loop. This will then be attached to the quick chain swivel. Using the crimping tool, find the small slot and place the crimp within the groove. Squeeze tight and remove from the tool. Next, cut off your desired length. I like to use around seven inches as after testing longer and shorter hook links, I come to the conclusion that this gives me the best hooked to land ratio. It means presentation and hook movement is at its absolute optimum. Then take a spinner swivel and use the crimping tool to remove the ring as this will be formed using the boom material and keep metal to a minimum which means there's less clutter and weight. Pass the material through one side of the 0.6 crimp, then take the material and pass it through the spinner swivel. Once you've done that, go back through the crimp and squeeze tight, creating a loop the same size that the ring was. For maximum break and strain, use the 0.6 with 25 pound boom and 0.7 crimps with a 35 pound. Next, take a size four Kamakura crank and attach it to the crook of the spinner swivel. Then, using a medium cut down kicker, slide the hook point through and pull it down so it fits snug over the crook. Add a micro hook ring swivel or slide on a hook bead to hold into place. I usually place the bead directly across from the barb. This means the hook sits in exactly the correct position when being held up by the pop-up in the water. Now all you need to do is take a short length of bait floss, thread through the swivel and slide on your hook bait. Finally, cut off the excess, leaving a small tag, burn with a lighter and blob down, preventing the bait from falling off. Last but not least, to counterbalance the pop-up, take a small blob of dark matter putty and mould it around the crimp. If I'm on clear ground, I'll have the hook bait sinking slowly. If I'm unsure of how clear the bottom is, I'll have it sinking faster so it doesn't get caught up on small bits of debris. 